What's going on guys, VicDP back with another Game Case Arcades video, tutorial number two for Robbie. We're still going to be talking about the Wiimotes real quick. So Robbie again, just want to shoot these videos so that people do see how in-depth I like to get, but it's also for you, just in case you kind of get lost. You could always message me, no need to worry, I like to help, but there's always some videos I can help you out with. So. Um, want to stick real quick on the Wiimotes, just showing off a couple other systems. Uh, for example, you did request this American Laser Games. Um, pretty easy setup. Um, the only big thing is that it does need a couple things to make it work. Not in a bad way though, okay? Remember, always basically you will always have player one PlayStation controller on. Um, my Wiimotes right now for this emulator, it's set to mode two, which is mimicking a mouse. So you could also use the Wiimote uh, to navigate. So the one big thing I do want to launch this real quick. So we're pressing the plus button, which is enter. It'll launch that. Now, a couple of games, um, even when you go into like um, Haunted Museum or like Tato Type X games, um, you will need um, the controller. Uh, only because the emulators do need to be assigned specific ways of putting coins or like start in. Um, so for example, this game here, you will need your PlayStation controller handy. Uh, as you can see, like right now, I'm just kind of using the mouse or the Wiimote. This game, luckily, and this system, it just recognizes the Wiimote as a mouse, and it's just a left click. The big thing, though, is that it does need, like, button one or keyboard input one and keyboard input number five, like, for start and coin. So that, we do have the PlayStation controller. So I'm going to bump the volume real quick just so, to make sure you could hear it. Um, basically, just like your arcade... If I press the select, that inserted a coin. As you can see, credits, and I press player one start. That made it us get into this kind of mode here. And as you can see, we do have the crosshair. Again, a little bit too close. My phone's in the way too. <laughs> and again, with this game, it's just basically utilizing the left, the left click. Um, A, oh crap, whoops. <laughs> uh, A up top is the reload. So as you can see, I can reload. I'm gonna skip this. And again, uh, there was a couple things you have to do to the emulator to make it work. Big thing was about resolution. We, oh crap, whoops, I'm shot her. <laughs> Ooh, oh, <laughs> I definitely shot her. Oh, I think I got hit. Guess I'm on my own. So I just want to show you that. So real quick again, a couple of games that you, even though it is using the Wiimote, you will still need to use the actual controller for coins and start. So this was a good example on that. Again, MAME Arcade, we did have the D-pad set up for the coins and the start. Not all emulators were able to read it that way. So for example, this is one. I'm going to escape out using the minus, and I'll escape out again. Uh, real quick, because again, I'm on the Wiimotes, um, we're going to go down the list. Again, I'm using the Wiimote. And I'm going to do actually the Wii. Uh, you could do the Wii, and again, it does mimic just like a Wii, and it does recognize when you actually have the nunchuck, thanks to Dolphin. Um, very cool stuff. Again, with the Wii, if I go back up to the top, close to the arcade shooter, we do have the Wii shooters. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, uh. We have this one here, the light gun game. That's for the Wii. Um, I'm going to go back down to the Wii. The big thing to understand with the Wii, and I do have it, if you look carefully at the loading screens, the Wii, you do have to go to your main flash bar, and you do have to have it set to mode four um i was playing i'm a big mario fan i mean you can't go wrong with mario again i'm using the i'm using everything right now in the wii mode to bring up the letters you hold down left or right it'll bring up the letter so i'm going to go to it's mario galaxy i'm on the m i could press the plus button that's enter i don't know if it's super mario galaxy or mario galaxy mario kart it is super mario yes Elemental P. Again, quick letter jump. You just go left and right. Super Mario Galaxy, for example. Now, um, I highly suggest that you set your May Flash Bar first 
to mode four and then press enter. The big thing though is that if I do that, um, your D-pad now doesn't work, so you will have to use the PlayStation controller because it took it out of mouse mode. I'm gonna hold X down. Loading complete. And it set it real quick on that mode four. So let's see right now. Oh, my, my Wiimote, when you do change the modes, it actually turns off. It did Wiimote connected actually, so you don't have to, no, I would say set it to, to mode four. Just turn it back on. And again, you could grab your Wiimote, not your Wiimote, your Nunchuck. And you could basically play it. Connect player one. I guess it's looking for the Nunchuck. And there you go. Literally, I just connected the Nunchuck and we are in. So again, amazing. I'll be honest, that's what's a very big plus when it comes to the May flash bars and Wiimotes. Um, it recognized, you know, hey, Wiimote, uh, the Nunchuck wasn't connected. So pretty cool feature. Uh, I'll be brutally honest. I can't stand it that I never... This game, I always play it as, as a demo. And um, I always have to sit here and do this freaking intro. <laughs> but while it's doing again, I just want to kind of just talk about it. Um, there's a game I'm going to load it up real quick, which is like chicken, a chicken shooter game. I do know that you do have the zapper. Uh, you didn't give that to me. That's cool. Um, the big thing I did notice is that basically it does recognize again. It recognizes when the nunchuck is in. Um, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool feature to see that. Uh, with that chicken game, I had this nunchuck in, but then it wouldn't like register correctly because I think it had to be with the zapper that you have. Um, so again, I'm able to use the nunchuck. I'm trying to make sure I have it on camera. Let's try to focus. And as you can see, if I could get out of this lamppost. I, I'm, I'm holding it so awkwardly. <laughs> but yes, just wanted to show you that off. I mean, again, it's definitely awesome stuff. Now, same thing. Um, once you do change the modes, the Wii modes, they turn off. So if you just hit the power button, that will connect to the other Mave flash bar. Um, other real quick to note. Um, you can see there there's one LED on, that's mode 4. On mode 2, when it recognizes as a mouse, the first and the fourth LED are on. Uh, maybe you get something like that with the LED count on it, but again, big thing is that if you did have mode 2 while you started the Wii, um, it's not going to recognize the Wii modes because it's still a mouse, so it's not really going to work out that way. Um, we were playing that WarioWare game. Um, it does recognize the rumble and the shake. Because again, inside the emulator, it's just replicating an actual Wiimote. Um, so definitely pretty cool stuff. Now with this, when you are in mode 4, like if I hit the minus, it doesn't escape. Because again, it changes the whole, it changes everything. So it's no longer recognized as a mouse and a keyboard. It is just a Wiimote. With that, you can grab PlayStation controller because it's still there. And you could actually not hold down the PlayStation controller as it looks like it's not recognizing the PlayStation controller as player one. Um, I don't want to change anything with this. You will need your keyboard and you hit escape on the keyboard. So again, I believe actually I, I was trying to play with it. Um, I believe it, it, it does change it honestly a lot. As you can see right now, I actually cannot navigate hyperspin now after that. Um, you will probably need a keyboard and mouse handy because I'm pretty sure it pushed this controller now as like player five and six. Um, maybe if I bring it back to mode two. Let's see. That automatically hyperspin itself. And no, we have one downside again, shooting it live just so you can see it. We do have an actual downside right now where launching the Wii it now disabled basically again um joy to key is confused it's no longer recognizing this while i have this actually i might as well fix it let's just see what we got real quick if i hit the windows key and if i load up real quick joy to key open the main so as you can see it's it doesn't even see it you can see i have four joysticks let's just see it, look at that. It says nine joysticks detected. Shit. 
Oh, wow. Oh, well, if I refresh now, it brought it back to, to one, but that's because I changed the May flash bar. That's, that's, that's a big deal. Um, oof. Let's just do it real quick. Um, I really don't want to play with it, to be honest with you. Um, but we will just launch real quick a random game. Um, let's just do this Rayman. Loading complete. Oh, I do not have Mayflash set to mode 4. So again, doing it live, showing a little bit of a downside when it comes to the Wiimotes. Um, my Wiimote is off because I changed the mode. Rumbled, Wiimote 1 connected. Don't really need the Wiimote on, but let's just see real quick. If I hit the Windows key, and again, Robbie, you will not be doing this. It's just something to at least show people a couple things. Well, it does recognize that as, as mode one. Interesting. I'm going to have to do a whole like reset to bring it back, but that is one thing to kind of take into consideration. As you can see, you will probably need a keyboard and mouse handy. Uh, when it comes to the Wii and navigating it because again it knocked out my PlayStation controller and it probably marked it as like joystick number nine um, Bring it back real quick. I do want to show off quickly that one game with the chicken thing Let's go into like on games again. I'm using the keyboard and Let's see. I I right now cannot actually let's do it again Windows key I cannot use the PlayStation controller right now. This is the Wii. We don't want this. Take that away. Let's see. Did I mess it up? Yes, I exited Hyperspin altogether. Um, so again, just I'm not going to edit this, to be honest. At least it's something that you could see. Again, when you do set the May flash bar to mode 4, um, it does, it's, it scrambles stuff. Almost exactly what you're seeing right now, think of it as the same headache as if you connected this controller with the USB. You're going to get the same exact type of headache, to be honest. Um, so as you can see, like right now, I have Mayflash set to mode 4, and I'm getting nothing working right now. Nothing meaning the PlayStation controller. So if I go real quick to open this, see, we do have the 9. I'm going to just test it real quick. If I bring up the 9, look at that. Joystick 7. It bumped it to Joystick 7. So, again, Robbie, I do know that you don't want a keyboard and mouse kind of connected, but you could see here that this is an instance where um, you might need it. Um, I really don't want to change that. I'm going to, I'm going to bring that back to four because i really do not want to change that at all or else it's really going to mess up the entire work i did um the hard thing though is that when you do launch hyperspin and if may flash bar is set to four it is it is joystick seven just now i did set the may flash bar to channel two mode two and i i actually could navigate with the mute Wii mode now but that's because it's recognizing it as a plus and minus my PlayStation controller will not work. Um, real quick, though, I do want to show off this light gun game. So, mode two right now on the May flash bar. Let's bring it down. Um, I think it was this chicken blaster. Um, let's launch it. We're going to launch it with the plus. I'm going to set this to mode four because it's not going to recognize it. You could even hear the Windows thing. Wiimote turns off. We're going to turn it back on. Wiimote 1 connected. You can see on the top left of your screen. I'm going to run this first without the nunchuck connected. See, it says like Wii Zapper use. Um, so you, I know you do have that. Going to just skip this. Now... As you can see right now, you see that the screen just flashed a regular Wiimote. Um, so it does recognize a regular Wiimote. Let me clear the way. And as you can see, I could use this. I do recognize, though, I do realize that if I do connect the nunchuck, um, let's see, it changed it to a zapper. Um, but the thing is, like, I think it, it modifies the buttons. Again, this isn't a real Wii game. So um, I did recognize that if I have the nunchuck, either connected or disconnected on this game specifically. I didn't test all the Zapper games, meaning I didn't play all of them. 
you might get that little logo where it actually says, hey, you got a zapper in your hand. So again, pretty cool stuff. As you can see right now, if I do hit the PlayStation button, we are not dead. We do need a keyboard and mouse handy. Just got to press escape. And that is it. Again, though, May Flash Bar is still set to mode 4. That still means that your PlayStation controller is Joystick 7. Again, I, I don't even like the way that sounds. Um, but basically, you would have to go back into mode 2. I mean, again, I know how you are. You're a streamer, so you're not going to always be playing the Wii games and all that. You just got to keep that stuff in mind. Uh, switching it back to mode 2. Using the D-pad. I'm able to navigate this because mode 2 is a keyboard and mouse for the Wiimotes and our D-pad is basically keyboard input. If I go to the PlayStation controller and it's been on, it doesn't turn off, it's joystick 7. So again, a little bit of a flaw or a minus to the Wiimotes, but nothing too bad. At least we did notice it live and I did see it live and there you go. Big thing now is, again, we are still in hyperspin, so I do have to use the keyboard or I could use the Wiimote. Um, other than that, honestly, as far as the Wiimotes, that's really all it is. The only other, other, other thing um, to keep in mind was Techno Parrot. Uh, I couldn't, for the life of me, get two-player Techno Parrot running on this. Um, let's launch real quick uh, Transformers. I couldn't get it to run. I've been trying and trying and trying. Big thing that's difficult with Techno Parrot is that I basically set the game to use mouse as gun, whereas when I use regular aim tracks, uh, it's actually reading it as joystick inputs, I guess you could say. I'm going to press the plus. Anything with Sega Ring Edge Techno Parrot, you see the screen flash. It brings it back to hyperspin, but it will come back. Um, it will push Transformers back once it's done loading. So just let it go. There you go. So now the big thing to keep in mind when it comes to Techno Parrot is that you might need to use still the keyboard to put in a couple of inputs. Um, button 1, or actually the, the mouse trigger, is the start. But now to insert a coin, I believe it's like the 0 or the 9 button. Yeah, it's the 9 button. So I need the keyboard number 9 to insert credits, as you can see there. So again, if I pull back, because I'm a little too close, using it as, again, my keyboard's in the way. <laughs> so again, just a couple of things. I couldn't get two players on this. For some reason, could not get two players on it. Set to mode 2. Again, we are playing Transformers with Techno Parrot. I keep the keyboard keeps blocking the way. So again, if you like literally put the keyboard in front, it's it's not good. So you gotta leave a straight path for the May Flash bar. Um, using the minus, I could escape back. And that's honestly really it as far as when it comes to the Wiimotes. They're great stuff, very cool stuff. Just a couple of games. You might need a little bit of an extra oomph to it. Now, real quick, we're going to load up a Tato Type X game called Haunted Museum. And again, as you can see right now, Wii Mode set to Mode 2, May Flash Bar. Um, I have to use the PlayStation Controller Start button to press Start. Again, unfortunately, I could not get two players to run on this. Uh, a little bit of a downside to it, but not in a bad way. And as you can see, using the A and the B. I'm gonna play some haunted museum right now. I love the smell of books. Do ya? They smell like they're half rotten. Flying books? Again, I got the volume. I, that's you know what it is when I do my streams. Sometimes the volume's too low. <laughs> but then I have a blasting in my ears. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So now again, set to mode 2. Not too bad. Again, unfortunately, you couldn't get two players on it. If I press the minus button, it does escape back out. Do one more shooting game. The House of the Dead 4 Sega Ring Edge Techno Barrett. Again, unfortunately, um, basically the two-player games you get with the Wiimotes is anything arcade. So MAME Arcade, 
um, even the Sega Model 2, Model 3, and the Wii. Um, let's see, so for example here, uh, as you can see it says press start button, but on um, this game the trigger or the left mouse button is your start. But again, if you do need to add credits, it is button all the 9 or button 7. What the heck are they doing? It all depends on the game. Let me move all my stuff out of the way. So now on that, I can hit the minus, and we escape back. Wiimotes.